will discuss based on the circulatory system. So I hope all are able to see now. Yes, yes ma'am. Yes, ma so circulation. Circulation means what? The transportation means any transport of any fluids. So inside our human body, uh, your fluids passes. That is, it can be blood or it can be lymph. So lymph, lymph may be a little bit new to you. But blood, as you have studied already, that blood contains mainly 60 to 65% plasma, which is clear fluid, and the rest all are blood cells. So these blood cells are also called RBC, WBC, and blood platelets. So the whole concept of that is blood. Okay. Now circulatory system means what? Three important parts Okay, that work together. That is heart, lungs, arteries, veins, and portal vessels portal vessels means like uh, we can say hepatic portal like from liver uh, liver from the stomach stomach and intestines the blood vessel will reach the liver detoxification will be done then while, soon after uh, everything is cleaned up the blood then the blood will go back to the heart because the blood which has been absorbed by the small intestines it has to be distributed to all the parts of the body and this blood is not detoxified it means this blood which contains toxic substance or all the waste products that has to be removed by the liver so that's why the liver everything uh, detoxifies monitoring all the uh, wrong substance waste substance or the poisonous substance they have to be removed then soon after the liver will send back to the heart and that is called portal vessels okay this portal vessels means uh, from the small intestines to the liver and liver back to the heart. Okay, that you will study in class 10. That is hepatic portal vein and hepatic vein. Hepatic portal vein means the vein which uh, transports the blood from small intestines, stomach up to the liver for detoxification before it reaches the heart. Then hepatic vein means that leaves the liver. Hepatic vein will collect the blood from the liver which is purified from all the waste and toxic substance and it will be carried back to the heart so that uh, that is hepatic vein so these two types of hepatic vein and hepatic portal vein that we call portal vessels and this hepatic why did we say because it is the scientific name based on the liver that's why it is called hepatic because the liver consists mostly of iron content Iron content in the sense RBC also, they die of, they have the lifespan of 120 days. This RBC will survive and when it reaches 120 days, it has to die. It has to replace with the new cells. So this RBC breakdown will take place in the liver. And as you know, RBC has hemoglobin content. So very rich in iron content. So that's why some of you elders may suggest you that to eat the liver, they tell tell you or not huh? do they tell you to eat yes. liver yeah so that is very rich in iron content so that's why they are saying uh, most of the breakdown of rbc takes place there then see the system is responsible for the flow of blood nutrients oxygen other gases and as well as hormones and to and from the cells so the circulatory system is mainly to carry out to transport not only the nutrients but also oxygen respiratory gases and all the hormones to and from the cell so that is the main important work of the circulatory system now you can see the diagram that uh, here you can see the heart structure okay there are four chambers here the arteries there are blood vessels, arteries, veins, and capillaries. Now, can you suggest which is artery and which is vein? I have written here number one. Here I have written number two. Here I have written number three. Now, tell me which is number one. I mean the blood vessels. Name the blood vessels. There are three blood vessels, arteries, veins, and capillaries. How many of you remember? Let me see the concept. This has been you have studied from class 5. So I am just uh, wanted to know at least which is artery and which is vein. 
then i will know that uh, num yeah number 1 Number one, yes, artery. When number one is artery. number two, number two is capillaries. When? Okay, number two is capillaries. Yes, Nimita Soren, you tell number three. What is number three? Others will not say. One one person will say. Ma'am, Venus. Number three answer. Yes, veins. Venus, okay, ma'am. Very good. Veins, veins, not Venus, veins. Okay. So arteries, veins, capillaries. Now, what is the concept of artery? This artery will carry the oxygenated blood. The blood which has reached the heart, the blood has got oxygenated. So this blood will pass from the aorta, flow from the ventricles from the aorta to different parts of the body. Okay, that's why we say arteries carry blood away from the heart, right or not? Arteries carry blood away from the heart. Now, what is the function of vein? When we understand artery, then veins veins are bringing back, right? Bringing back to the heart. Veins are bringing back the blood to the heart. So we say veins function is to receive the blood from the body parts. Okay, that means towards the heart, right? So blood is reaching the heart. Means uh, towards the heart, coming towards the heart through veins, and blood is going away from the heart through arteries. These two concepts you must be clear. Then only I can explain what is the flow. In the next class, I'll explain how the circulation takes place in the heart. But first uh, parts you have to understand. Then this capillaries. These are fine, very fine capillaries. They are very thin wall. Only one layer thin wall. But here in arteries and veins, you will see uh, in the arteries they are very thick and muscular walls. But in veins they are very thin walls. In the arteries they are very thick. Why? Because they have to push the blood uh, from the ventricles to the further parts of the body. Means they have, for example, pulmonary artery. You know as it it locates where? Where does it locate? Where does it locate? Anyone? Pulmonary artery. Where does it starts? Okay, so you are not clear of anything. The what is the parts of the heart, right? So okay, parts of the heart also I will be explaining. If I now I don't have much time. So circulatory system, you understand today? Okay, then I will be explaining how many chambers are there and all this uh, concept. Okay. So this uh, whole thing I'll be explaining tomorrow. Uh, heart organ, then location. This once I explain this, you'll be uh, clear of the concept. Okay. So up to this one. So chamber and location. I have said in humans and other mammals, the heart is a four chambered. So all the mammals are four chambered. And where it is located, it is slightly to the left of the center. It is said because the triangular part, the basal part of the heart, is towards the left. Okay, but not the uh, exactly towards the right. So this you will concept you study in class ten. Only up to your concept, it is to the left of the center. Okay, so behind the breastbone, it rests on the diaphragm, the muscular partition between the chest and the abdominal cavity. Okay. So this location, chamber, and location, you be clear today. And how many things are consisting in the circulatory system? That is heart, blood vessels. Okay, this important point you must keep in mind. Okay, so we'll wind up this class for today, and I'll do a small test. I'll be conducting. Uh, you'll get the information automatically, and we will see how much you you can do it. Yes, sir. Okay then. Thank you, students. I'll be ending up the class. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am.